everyone, welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios and Merry Christmas. Yep, you heard me right. It's Merry Christmas because this is our first episode of the Reindeer Club for 2023. If you're new to my channel and you might not know what I'm talking about, the Reindeer Club is where we get together on the 25th of every month and start prepping for the coming holiday season. So I think in terms of Christmas, but if you do something big for Halloween or for Thanksgiving, you can also work on that too, and that's perfectly fine. But today I'm talking about Christmas cards and prepping for Christmas cards. How many of us wish we sent more Christmas cards, but just never seem to get around to it? Or we're scrambling last minute to get cards made and then the mail, or if we're card makers, heaven forbid, we wind up going out and buying store-bought cards just so we can get them in the mail. Today is going to help you prepare to get away from all of that. So I'm starting with this box that I, oh, excuse me, um, that I picked up at Dollar General several years ago. And I use it to put my Christmas cards in as I make them so that when it comes time to do my Christmas cards, I've got them all in one spot. Right now the box is empty because I pulled the cards out of it. I've got quite a few done and ready for this year that were left that I didn't use last year. So I've got to start, but I want to show you why I'm revamping this. Goodness, I don't know where the yarns came from. So I'm going to flip this over for right now. Flip that just like that. In the past, to keep track of my Christmas card list, I have used a binder. Binders are hard for me to deal with on some days because of my small hands, arthritis, they're bulky, it's just, it's not a pretty thing for me. And in the past, prior to the binder, I put everything in this box and I had my Christmas cards out by categories and I just kept a folded sheet of paper in behind each category of the names and addresses of the people in there, such as in my Blooms and Butterflies, which was my Stampin' Up! group um, with uh, Brandy Cox. And so I'd keep that list in here, and then when I came time to do those cards, I just pulled out the list. I had everybody's names and addresses. Well, some of these are going to change this year, but I'm still going to use this, but with a little bit of a twist. I am sorry, I don't know where the yawns came from. So as I said, so then I went from the box and using it just to put the made cards in to using this and I had those same categories here but I and then had a sheet hole punched in behind each one with the list of names and addresses. Again, it worked except I'm not crazy about using the binder. Some days the binder is hard for me. The box, I can set it on the shelf. The other thing was, is I had to put all the cards in the box, and then I had to go through and pick out the cards for the correct recipient. Because some people I know are not going to appreciate a handmade card. They'll look at it, they'll enjoy it for the holiday season, and they'll pitch it. So I don't put as much work into those cards as I do for the people that I know are really going to appreciate what went into the card and probably keep it. Or take it apart and use part of it in Christmas cards of their own. And I'm okay with that. So... The other thing is, is it gave me a place back here to keep my envelope stickers, my seals, and my Christmas stamps, or my, you know, my postage stamps. I did go down before postage went up, and one of my post offices still had the Christmas stamps. And so I bought four books of those, so that gives me 80 Christmas stamps from last year. And so I'm, I'm, I've got those all done. Whoa, I don't know what just slid. <laughs> So, we're going back to the box system, we're going back to the tabbed file system, but instead of a folded up sheet of paper behind each category with all the names listed, I'm going to write each person's name and address on here and put it behind the category, and when I make their card, it will go behind their name. I'm not addressing the envelopes yet because something could change in a year, I get that, but those are the people that I want to focus on. And the other thing is, doing this now, this month, is a great time for you to go through your Christmas list, and your card list, and check in with those people, and make sure you have a correct mailing address for them. 
instead of scrambling towards the end of the year when everybody's busy trying to get um, information back from them because you know they're not going to get back to you right away. And here you are sitting waiting to get that card and envelope address so you can get it in the mail and you're waiting and waiting and waiting. So do it now, get it done and out of the way. So that will be my Christmas card list. The other thing Bob and I do is because we don't have um, <coughs> we don't have people that we buy gifts for. Um, last year being an exception, I do not. I usually spend the first weekend in December, and I do all my Christmas baking, and then we go back and we. Um, deliver Christmas boxes of goodies to all the businesses who have served us through the year. And somewhere usually between 60 and 80 boxes over the course of about a three-day delivery. So if you want to get your gift tags done up, this is another great time to do that. Get your gift tags done and start um, setting up your gift giving list so that you will have that ready to go. This is all about preparing for the coming season. So you'll have those things, the organizational organizational system in place to get your Christmas cards in the mail. Turn my box around. So there was that. So that's what you're going to work on. That's what I suggest you work on for this next month. Make your Christmas card list. Go back through and check it. Naughty, nice, pitch them off the list, adding new people, whatever you want to do. And setting up a system so that if you're making cards, or even if you're buying cards, if you picked up Christmas cards on clearance, go ahead and start getting them ready. You can do that. Or at least if you've got the address cards ready to go, then when you do go out and buy those Christmas cards, you'll be ready to go. Um, and your Christmas tags and your gift list. The more you do now, the less hectic your holiday season is going to be and the more time you're going to have to actually enjoy the holiday season instead of wishing it was just over. That's not what the holiday season's about, folks. It's about enjoying the people that we love. So let's see what we can do to show them how much they mean to us in our life, okay? Speaking of people in my life, I want to give a shout out to two fabulous ladies. They are new subscribers to my channel, and I normally, I haven't been going back through and doing individual welcome to my channel things, but these two ladies, I live in the middle of nowhere. I have nobody near me to craft with, and yesterday, Monday actually, you'll be seeing this on Wednesday afternoon, Monday, I took a me day, and I drove into the city and did just whatever I wanted to do. Most of it was business related, but that's okay. It was what I wanted to do on my own time frame. From the time I left the house until I got home last night, I was gone 13 hours. It was a really long day, but it was a really fun day. I got to shop through the stores that I enjoy at a browsing leisure. I sat in Barnes & Noble with a stack of magazines, and I've got some really great quotes I'm going to be sharing um, both here and on my blog in the coming days. But in Hobby Lobby, I met two, well, actually I met three, but I only got to know two of them. And that would be Sandra and Jules. Um, we met in the Tim Holtz Inc. section. Jules had questions. Sandra was helping her out. I asked if I could interject and offer some advice. And the next thing you know, we're standing there talking like old friends. And it was just fabulous. Both of those ladies asked for the link to my YouTube channel and have already come in and been new subscribers. So thank you, Jules and Sandra. You guys really made my day yesterday. I had so much fun. Jules, I think if it hadn't have been for your husband, I'd have suggested we run over to Barnes & Noble and the three of us have coffee and talk because I think we could have talked for hours about crafting. Um, they also gave me some ideas of things that they would like to see on my channel. So I'm going to start putting some things in the works for February. So if you are, if there's anything in particular you would like to see me do, leave that in the comments below so I can start putting February together. I would appreciate that. One more thing before I go. Um, on the 31st, I will be doing the flip through of my January challenge journal. And then on February 1st, we will be getting, uh, you'll be getting the details for the new February challenge. Now, 
I am going to switch things up just a little bit for the month of February and going forward. And that is on Wednesday, when I draw a stick, Wednesday videos are going to be in two parts. I will do the first video with the uh, stick pull and we'll talk about that for a few minutes. And then we're going to come back for a part two in the afternoon where I will actually be uh, doing a craft along where you can come in and watch the video and do what I'm doing with that. The reason is, is because doing only one video, if I pull the item, I don't always have stuff around me that I can give you an example. And you've seen that where I've just, you know, done a quick dive of what we can do. So what I'm going to do, I'll pull the stick. We'll talk about the challenge for that week. And then in the afternoon, you'll see part two of the video where I will actually be making my items, um, or at least one of them if I'm doing three, which I probably am. You know me, I always do three signatures to a journal. Um, that I can actually come back and show you what I'm making from our prompt stick. So Wednesdays will have two videos from now on. Okay, I think that does it for me. I want to thank you for stopping in. If you have any questions, please ask. I'm, I'm more, than well, well, more than willing to answer them. I just can't talk tonight. It's been a really long couple of days. So in the meantime, remember like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss anything, and creative Christmas blessings.